Welcome back. In the last video, we took a look at justify content, which if you remember, it's a way to align the items, this whole kind of group of one to 10, uh, to the left, to the right, space between, uh, we could center them as well. And the main thing that we took away from justify content is that it aligns this group of items on the main axis. So by default, the main axis is left to right. Uh, however, we did also look at changing that the main access from left to right to top to bottom when we used, what was it? Flex direction column. So again, when you have flex direction column, it changes the axis by default left to right. And now it makes it from top to bottom. Okay. You're probably sick of me saying that, but I just want to drive it home. Uh, let's now talk about the next one, which is a line item. So you, if we go here, take a look at uh, Chris Coyer's CSS tricks, align items is kind of similar. However, uh, the main thing is, is we're not concerned about the main axis, which is left to right. We're more concerned about the cross axis, which is by default top to bottom. So um, the one thing we need to go ahead and do here is if I just go and say align items center and give it a save, because this is this is what all everyone kind of goes ahead and do. They go, oh, Flexbox is great at vertically centering items. I'm just going to pop a quick line item center, refresh, and everyone gets really frustrated because hey, it's not actually centering my items at all. And the reason is, is because we're vertically centering things here along the cross axis, this container with the pink border around it, there's actually no room for it to then go ahead. So we need to make sure that this container has some sort of height on it. Now, um, if, if you're one of your contents were a lot bigger than another, like for example, if this 10 went uh, dropped a little bit down, you might not need this, but for our cases, let's pop a quick height on it. So say height 100 VH and there we go. Oh, look at that. It's vertically centered them automatically because we have this aligned item center right here. So let me just take that off real quick and give it a refresh. This is what happens by default where uh, we've got all of our items and by default, the align items is set to something called stretch. Um, so stretch will then, if we put it in here, you see like nothing happens. It just starts at the, the top of the container and will stretch itself all the way to the bottom of the container. So we also have center, which will vertically center them. So again, we're still in rows here, but we are vertically centering them. Uh, we've also got flex start, which will start them all the way at the top, even though that this space is available for us. Uh, we've got flex end, which will start it at the end. And then the other one, so we've got start and center stretch to default. Um, the kind of cool one is this thing called baseline, which it looks at the text in your, let me change this to baseline. It looks at the text in your items and will make sure that the bottom of every single letter, number, whatever is in there is aligned properly. Now, you, we can't really see that much now because they're all the same size. But if I go ahead and change it, like box one, font size 30 PX, and let's do some other ones. Box three, font size 150, dot box four, font size 200. I don't know how crazy we're going to get here. Ooh, look at that. So they get bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, maybe I'll do a couple more. Box five, font size 10, and box 10, font size... 77 px so and again this is not pixel specific it could be m's rems vh whatever you want so when i refresh now you'll notice that these are all of different sizes uh the the height of these items is dependent on however big the font is however if you take a line and just draw it right underneath every text it's all going to be perfectly aligned with the baseline of the font which is extremely handy a lot of times you get these uh, designs from designers and you've got like maybe like on the left you got a title and on the right you got like the date and those are two different sizes and, and to try to vertically or sort of align them on the baseline of the font is kind of tricky you end up just kind of pushing them around with maybe position relative or some margin or padding or something like that so being able to just say align items baseline right along there Oh, that, that is so nice to have. Um, and it will just figure it all out for you. Uh, let's do what we did last time is change the direction. So again, tell me our main access left to right, our cross access top to bottom again. So this is top to bottom. So if we did flex direction column, 
we are switching our accesses, which here is, it's all gonna start it along the left-hand side of it. But if I change this to align item center and refresh, that's kind of cool. What happens here is that our cross access is no longer top to bottom, it's left to right, and it's going to align the items uh, along that down the center. So again, very similar to justify content, uh, just helpful for us to know there. The main thing I wanna take away from that is that it's on the cross axis and needs a height to work. <laughs>